We turn now to the big banks in focus, specifically the heads of the seven biggest U.S. banks, including J.P. Morgan Chase CEO Jamie Dimon and Citigroup's Jane Frazier on Capitol Hill for a second day of grilling. Today testifying before the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs, Republicans pressing the CEOs on ESG investments and, of course, the state of the economy. Dimon asked about where inflation, currently at a 40-year high, is headed in the months to come. The future, not that far away, you have QT, rising rates, you know, more inflation, war in Ukraine, which is deteriorating, oil prices, which I still think are kind of precarious. And yeah, those things have the potential to put the country and the world into a recession, which will obviously help inflation, but it's not the preferred way to get there. So the, worst out, the worst outcome is stagflation. So concrete inflation is a very important thing to do. Senator Elizabeth Warren, meanwhile, had a passionate back and forth with Diamond about fraudulent Zell transactions, prompting Diamond to, quote, deeply apologize for not giving the numbers the senator asked for. Now, Pat Toomey in his opening statement saying, quote, I can't help but observe that when banks do weigh in on highly charged social and political issues, they seem to always come down on the liberal side. It's interesting to see these CEOs a bit antagonistic against the Republicans. Toomey also very critical of ENG investments, saying they harm America.